Hey YouTube, I am back with another unboxing. And what you see here is the Fury GT EV3 steering wheel. The steering wheel was actually given to me for review purposes, so I wanted to definitely get into it and let you know what I think about this steering wheel. I'm always invested in steering wheels. I love games like Forza Horizon, Need for Speed, um, Gran Turismo back when I was on PS2 and PS3 and PS4 and PS5. So steering wheels have always been something big in my life and I always like to try out new things. So when I had the opportunity to be able to test this out, I was like, yeah, send it my way so I can go ahead and test it out. So this is the box that it comes in and it's from EvoRetro.com. That's where you can go ahead and pick it up. But on the front of it, it has the name of the steering wheel there, the Fury GT EV3. Gaming steering wheel right there in the front for Nintendo Switch, PS4, and PC. And then on the side over here, it also has some pictures on there. And then on the back, it also shows how the steering wheel looks right there. Let's you some, know some of the features, the coil spring mechanism, gear lever, vibra vibration feedback, excuse me, handbrake, and 270 degree rotation. It's pretty awesome, man. So let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. Let me go ahead and... Cut this tape off. We're going to get a first look here at the steering wheel. Then I'm going to test it out. Let you guys know what I think about it. Cut that one good enough. There we go. Go the top there. All right, and that's how it looks with the packaging right there, nicely packaged. So the first thing you see right here is the steering wheel itself. Let me pull this out. Put that over to the side here. And this looks like the pedals. That is the pedals right there. Put that over to the side. And then lastly, down here at the bottom, looks like you have some instructions with a QR code down there. Quick start guide. It tells you how to hook it up for the PS4. Your installation. Setting it up on the desk and all the contents that come inside the box. All right, so let's go ahead and move this box off the way. Excuse me. Get the camera there. All right, so also inside the bag, it looks like it comes with a travel bag, which is pretty dope. So if you want to take this with you, maybe over to a friend's house, or family member's house, you can definitely put it inside this nice travel bag to take it with you. It is a drawstring bag, so the top of it just pulls closed like that. That's pretty dope. That's actually a nice feature. All right. So here is the steering wheel itself. That's awesome. The gear shifter is actually built into the actual steering wheel itself so it's not a separate attachment i do like that and then here is your usb cables here i'm quite sure one of those cables are going to go to the steering the pedals there so on the front you have a d-pad on the left l trigger right trigger you have your x y b a buttons right there and then these buttons here would Probably be the left thumbstick and right thumbstick right there. Sensitivity to adjust, start, mode, and back. Then back here, you have your paddle shifters. Back there, right here. It's pretty awesome. Then on the bottom here, this is how it will mount to the desk. So you would just slide this under a desk and then you would loosen these pieces up here to get more space down here at the bottom okay let's put that to the side all 
Then lastly, here is the steering wheel, the pedals for the steering wheel. And it is USB right here on the back. And then the USB cable, extra USB cable that it comes with will plug in here. So from here to the pedals, and then this one here goes into the actual system or the PC, and then it gives you an extra USB here over the side so you're not losing a USB by using this steering wheel. So that's also pretty awesome that they give you that extra USB to be able to plug in other devices while you're using the steering wheel. So that's a pretty awesome steering wheel that they actually give you. So give me a moment, I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up and then I'll give you guys a demo of how it works. And then lastly, I'll give you my opinion on it. All right, YouTube, I am back and it is all set up actually. So it is mounted to the table right here. So pretty simple as how you mount it to the table. Uh, just those two clips slide up under any table, flat surface. Make sure it's a flat surface because if your surface is uneven at the edge of the table, you will have some trouble with this securely mounting to the table. So just make sure it's a flat surface on the top and bottom and you won't have any issues mounting the steering wheel to that table. So it is mounted. So we're gonna go ahead and show you actually how to hook the steering wheel up because that's a kind of big thing. Um, so on the switch itself, you just take the USB cable from the steering wheel, plug it into the USB port on the left side of the switch dock, okay? And then, give me one second, I'll show you how in the settings how to do that. Uh, get it to sync up. It will sell you in the instructions, but seeing it will probably be a lot better than reading the instructions. All right, so I am back. So the first thing you have to do, I already have mine set up, so I'm gonna be using the actual steering wheel to actually do this. But all you have to do, first thing is go to settings. Then once you're in settings, you wanna definitely go down to the controller input down here, controller and sensors. Select on that, and you're gonna to wanna to turn on Pro Controller Wire Communication. Usually that's off, but you wanna make sure it's on, mine is on. And then once you do that, you're gonna back out, and then you're gonna go down to controllers here. And then you would click on Change Grip there at the top. And then when you change grip on the top, you're just gonna hit A on the steering wheel and bring it to the blank screen and you hit a on the steering wheel you see it already noticed it right there it says usb and then you are good to go so now the controller is actually synced up to the actual system so i always feel like it's better to actually see somebody do it than reading the instructions because sometimes the instructions can be a little off-putting all right so what are we going to do we're going to go ahead and play some quick mario kart to test on how this actually drives so let's go ahead and go to let's see we'll go to n64 there we go all right and then we'll go to mario kart all right so let's see here let's go ahead and turn this down a little bit ahead and hit start so you can actually in that glare you can actually see the steering wheel so we're gonna go ahead and select hit a there and then hit a there and I can, stay, I can feel that vibrating in the steering wheel, which is pretty nice so you can see that there let's pick some Mario See you guys right there in the camera. So you know I'm actually using the steering wheel. All right, so I'm not moving. Let's see here. All right, the steering wheel, I'm not getting that to register. Okay, so I'm using the A button. There we go. 
<laughs> it's gonna take some time to get used to this. So I'm using actually the A button on the steering wheel um, to actually use the gas. Oh man. <laughs> Come on, Mario. There we go. It'll take some time getting used to this. Ooh, come on. All right, but the steering wheel does work. It's, you know, it's a novice steering wheel. It's a beginner steering wheel, so it does take some time to get used to actually using the steering wheel. And then you should be good to go. Um, by using it afterwards once you get down the feeling of the actual steering wheel. All right. And then we'll test one other game here shortly because it could just be the game as to why that pedal isn't registering, but I am holding down the A button on the actual steering wheel. All right, so that does work. All right, so that's all I want to check to make sure that it actually worked. So that's cool there. So let's go ahead and back out. We'll go to game section and back out of there. There we go. Let's go ahead and close this out. All right, so give me one second. I have to get another racing game on here, and I'll be right back. All right, so we're back into another game here. So while I was setting up this other game, downloading it, I took some time to look at the actual instructions. So there is going to be some things that you have to learn about the steering wheel. It's highly customizable. And that's why I was having an issue with the pedal because you have to program the pedal to whatever button it is that you need to use for your gas or your brake, which is super easy. And I'll show you guys that a little bit later, but I think I do have this all set up. So let's go ahead and get into a race. Also, I changed a little bit of the sensitivity, so hopefully the feel will be a little bit better when it comes to actually uh, steering the actual controller. So you have a basically a mid sensitivity and a high sens sensitivity, and you can also turn the sensitivity down. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's a lot better. Okay. Yep, so that's what it was. Okay. So that's, yeah, this, I had to adjust the sensitivity. Oh man, this feels really good now. Really good. This definitely changes the game drastically. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so definitely change your sensitivity on the controller and you won't have any issues uh, steering in this game. The pedal works perfectly fine now. Oh, I can take that shortcut. Into the finish. Uh, third place. Okay, cool, cool. All right, so this is actually pretty, pretty nice, man. So let's go ahead. And go 
ahead and back out of here real quick. I'll actually play one more. So once you dial in the sensitivity on the steering wheel, I put it at the highest uh, sensitivity and it works really, really well. So I think that's where I like that, but you can actually dial it in. And after we do this race, I'll actually show you how to do that. surprised at how great this steering wheel feels once dialed in. them out. Finished. And we finished in second. Awesome. Can't complain about that at all. Alright. Alright, so let's go ahead and get back to get back to the menu there. All right, man, so that is really, really nice. I actually really love how that steering wheel felt once it was adjusted. So let's go ahead and bring you guys down here. Move my camera back, and then we're gonna get you down to the steering wheel here so I can actually show you uh, how this is done. It's pretty simple on how you do things. Uh, it will tell you in the instructions, so fear not. Everything is in the instructions on how to set the steering wheel up so you won't have to worry about it. So to increase your sensitivity or decrease your sensitivity, all you do is hold the sensitivity button here and you'll press up once or, you know, it'll go up once. It'll blink slowly the first time. And if you want to go to the highest sensitivity, you'll hold the sensitivity button and press up again. And then this light down here will blink fast two times. Same thing in reverse for bringing your sensitivity down. You'll hold the sensitivity button here and then you'll press down once to go down once and then you'll do repeat this step again. So if I hold this here and press down, you see how it blinks right there? So now the sensitivity has come down one. So that's how you set up your sensitivity. Super simple and it works perfectly with no issues. Now, if you want to program a button, so like your pedals, if you want to program the gas or the brake, um, only thing you have to do is you will hold this PR button here for about three seconds until you see it flash there or light up. And then like I'm going to hit my gas pedal button down here one time and it's flashing and then you just hit the A button, okay? So it's all you have to do to program the buttons on the controller. You hold the PR button there. You hit the button that you want to program, 
gas pedal, then hit A, and then wow, there you go. It is programmed to it. So that was what the gas button is in the game. So you do have to know what the actual buttons are in the game. So if you set up, set up the game or start up the game, figure out what your buttons are and then you can know what to program them to when you actually need to program them to the pedal. And that's why I was having the issues with Mario Kart because I did not program the pedal to the gas button. I had to hold the A on the controller. So what I would have done is hold the PR button, hit the gas pedal, and then press A, and it would copy A over to the gas pedal so then I could use the gas pedal to actually go ahead and drive or gas, you know, make my car go forward. So the steering wheel is actually really nice. I really love the sensitivity, really love the vibration on it. So I think it's actually worth it. Now, keep in mind, it is a beginner steering wheel. So it's not going to be for the car racing game enthusiast who wants to do Forza Motorport, Motorsport 5, you know, or Gran Turismo, um, the new Gran Turismo. Now, you could play those games on PC if you wanted to. Um, but this, once again, I do have to stress, it is a beginning, beginner steering wheel, but it has a whole list of awesome features on it. The programmable option, options and sensitivity options are just awesome. That makes the steering wheel go up several levels with me, and it makes it even more usable uh, to the on the consumer, right? So you can get this, steer, this steering wheel. Um, it is $139 for the steering wheel. Do I think it's worth $139? Uh, yes and no. So I think the sweet spot probably would have been about $99 for the steering wheel. And, you know, they'll look at it. Maybe they'll adjust the price on it. But $139 is not bad either for the actual steering wheel. So I wouldn't say that that's like a horrible price or anything. But if you want to go and check out the steering wheel, you can go to EvoRetro.com. And that's where you'll be able to look at the steering wheel and decide if you want to purchase it. I will put a link down in the description below so that you can just go right to that link and then check out the steering wheel. I had a great time on a Switch. This would be awesome for my kids. This would be awesome if you're just having like a get together with friends and family coming over and you guys want to get on and play maybe some Mario Kart or anything like that. I think this would be an awesome addition to the game room to be able to have. Um, but I'll definitely put the link in the description and you can go and check it out and see if it's an option for you. So I do really appreciate you guys coming over and checking out this quick unboxing and demonstration of the steering wheel. Once again, the, the steering wheel was provided to me free of charge so I could do a review on it and see what I thought about it and give my opinion on it. So personally, I do think it's a good steering wheel. It's a beginner's lever steering wheel. Um, price is really subjective. It depends on you. Uh, I really would like to see it at $99. I think it would make it more appealing to a larger crowd at that $99 price point. But nonetheless, it is a good steering wheel has great custom ability on what you can do with the steering wheel, how you can set it up. All right, guys, I appreciate you swinging over and watching this video. I'll check you on the next one. Peace.